Former Real Madrid centre-back Pepe could be facing a two-year ban from football after happenings at the league game between Sporting and Porto on the 11th of February 2022. Now, any matchup between these two Portuguese giants is always one to watch. They are two of the biggest clubs in the country, and right now, they are both first and second on the Premier League table. You could argue that that game meant more to Sporting as they're the ones with some catching up to do. But Porto were definitely not resting on their laurels. They gave just as much as they received in that game and it ended up in a draw. Porto, who were on top of the table going into the match, found themselves two goals down in the 34th minute, but managed to find a way back into the game with a goal in either half. But the eventual scoreline wasn't even the talking point of the day. That match saw five players get sent off. Yes, five red cards in just one game. One of those red cards came during the game, while the other four came from a bust-up that happened after the whistle for full-time had gone. There was a whole raucous on the pitch, which saw the players go head-to-head -head with each other. And of course, when something like this happens, you expect Pepe to be an active part of it. You remember him from Madrid, don't you? When the centre-back was in his prime, he was known to be the king of shithousery on the pitch. Back when Sergio Ramos was the karma of the dreaded defensive pairing at Real. And it seemed like he always saved his biggest acts for the biggest games. Back then, there was hardly a Clasico game that went by without Pepe going head-to-head -head with another player or taunting another. So you come to Portugal, a mini brawl in shoes in a game between first and second on the table. Of course, you expect the veteran to pitch in. And he did, in more ways than one. While players were picking fights with each other during the post-full-time chaos, Pepe decided to go for bigger fish. The veteran Portuguese defender attacked one of Sporting CP's directors, Hugo Viana, and what he did, according to the rule books, qualifies as violent conduct. The Porto captain immediately saw red for that action, but apparently he could be facing more than just a few games on the sidelines. His case will be heard, but the 39-year-old could be facing two months to two years away from professional football. But it doesn't even end there. Earlier in this same game, Pepe had hidden a bullet in his socks. Yes, you heard that right. A bullet in his socks. Apparently, the bullet was thrown onto the pitch by someone from the stands and Pepe immediately picked it up and tucked it in his socks in a bid to hide it from the match officials. But things didn't go exactly as planned for him, as the bullet dropped to the pitch and some of the opposing players saw it and alerted the ref. Ricardo Escayo, the sporting right back, was the main person who was trying to bring the referee's attention to the bullet. But the ref thought he was doing too much and gave him a yellow card for his troubles. But his efforts were not wasted as Pepe had to eventually hand the bullet over to the ref after it had been discovered. It's still unclear why Pepe attempted to hide that bullet though. Maybe it was to protect the club he had played close to 150 games for, a club he obviously loved so much. Because reports are saying that because that bullet was discovered in Porto's home ground, Estadio do Dragao could be closed down for some time as punishment. Uh, that really didn't age well for Pepe, did it? From trying to be a hero for the club to facing a possible two-year ban from professional football. But we want to hear from you, though. Does Pepe deserve a two-year ban or should a significant shorter ban suffice? Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel too. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye.